According to the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health, also known as NIOSH, approximately every three days, someone in the United States is killed in a forklift-related incident. That translates to nearly 95,000 injuries related to forklift incidents each year. This high number of injuries comes with more than just pain and suffering. It's also incredibly expensive. The cost incurred from workers in their workplaces for forklift accidents and injuries is estimated to be at more than $100 million a year. These startling statistics make it pretty clear just how much risk is at hand. A forklift may look like fun, but it's no toy to horse around on at work. It's a tool. Just like every other tool in your workplace, it can become a threat to your safety if not used properly and responsibly. Forklifts may look solid and stable, but they can lose their stability when faced with the varying conditions and circumstances they encounter in your workplace. In fact, the loss of stability is one of the main reasons a forklift tips in the first place. It's called the triangle of stability, and you may have heard this term used before. What it refers to is the balance of weight between three points on the forklift. The forklift uses its front wheels as a pivot point. As you can see, the center of gravity on a forklift lies in the center line of the vehicle between the front and rear axles. An unloaded forklift on a level surface has its center of gravity directly in the middle of the stability triangle. As weight is added to the forklift, or if the forklift is on an incline, the center of gravity will move around inside of the stability triangle. If the load shifts too far to one side or the other, the center of gravity can move outside of the triangle of stability. Anytime the center of gravity moves outside of the triangle, the forklift will become unstable and will eventually tip over once it gets far enough off balance. Besides the load weight shifting, there are a number of other factors that can cause the center of gravity to move enough outside the triangle of stability to pose a problem. The first factor is the weight of the load itself. If the weight of the load carried on the forks is off balance or it's just too heavy, this will move the center of gravity out of the triangle of stability. Your cornering technique can also play a role in making the weight of the load shift suddenly. And believe it or not, taking a simple turn around a corner with too much speed can put your life at risk. Second is driving speed and braking techniques. Make sure to drive at a low enough speed so that you can stop safely and easily at a moment's notice. A good way to measure this is to travel at what feels like walking speed. It's easy for weight to shift around on your forklifts when driving at higher speeds, and it also means that you'll have to brake harder and faster if something comes into your path. Hard braking can also set a forklift's center of gravity off balance in an instant. Braking gently is your best bet for stability and safety, and this is one reason why checking your brakes during your pre-trip inspection is so important. You'll need to know that your brakes are in good working condition before you get started so you'll know you'll be able to stop easily when needed. The third factor in your stability is taking driving services and conditions into consideration. Conditions like wet or icy winter surfaces can send a forklift sliding. Even a little slide has a chance to turn into a tip over which can obviously lead to serious injury or even death. A fourth and final attack on stability is objects striking the mast, like product falling from shelves. This can happen when the mast is raised and the forklift is operating too closely to shelving and stacked product. When the mast is raised, a forklift is less stable to begin with, and once it bumps into something or product falls down, well, the entire forklift can be thrown off balance. And this makes it important to be aware of leaving an ample pocket of space around you when you lift the mast and that you have clearance enough so that you don't jar any shelves or product while lifting and lowering. Now that we've seen how many factors affect a forklift stability, you're probably wondering what you can do to prevent these things from happening to you. Well, here are some tips that will keep you stable and help you avoid danger in general. When you're carrying a load, keep it as low as possible. Keep the forks tilted back while you're moving. Stay within the safe physical capabilities of the forklift you're driving. And this includes keeping a safe steady speed, keeping the load at a reasonable height, staying under the forklift capacity, and avoiding sharp turns. You know what your lift can handle, so stay within those limits. And if you aren't sure if something is going to be safe, ask a supervisor before you try it.
There's also a few additional things to remember when you're driving on different surfaces and conditions. Take extra caution on grates, loading docks, slippery surfaces, and inclines. These create the highest risk for a fall or tip. Stay straight on ramps and inclines. Do not turn or turn around. And you can avoid this by planning ahead so you'll know where you need to be positioned before you enter the ramp or incline. Look over your shoulder and back up the incline if you need to change directions. Use extra caution when driving or operating around ladders and scaffolding so that you don't run into them and damage the ladder or cause an injury by knocking a person off of it. Keep a close watchful eye on your surroundings on an outdoor work site. Generally, outdoor work sites may not have lines or marked paths to indicate safe travel routes as they often do on indoor work sites. So, you'll need to be even more careful and aware of things like bystanders, equipment, and surface changes. Now that we've got a glimpse of how stability works, how to stay stable, and what can go wrong if safe procedures aren't followed, Let's build on that and see how to safely handle loads of goods while on your forklift. There are three factors that influence your stability and ability to carry a load of goods without simply tipping right over or dropping it. First, there's the rate of capacity of the forklift. It's the top weight your forklift can carry. And this weight is usually based on the load center of an average of 24 inches, which is the center of an average size pallet. If you don't know the rated capacity of the forklift you're driving, well, check the capacity plate on the forklift or ask your supervisor. Second is the load center. This is the distance from the heels of the forks to the center of gravity of the load. Since the center of gravity is usually 24 inches, any load center that sets out past that 24 inch mark is going to compromise the stability of your forklift and put you in serious risk. And finally, Something we've discussed previously, the general stability of your load under the specific conditions you're in. Obviously, if a load is somehow unstable and you're driving on an incline, these conditions can add up and put you at a higher risk of danger. So, know where your center of gravity is, keep your braking or acceleration gradual, your load under capacity, and move with caution and care. If you make it a habit to mind these factors, your stability will be one less thing to worry about when you're working. Here are some helpful tips to remember for safety while you operate forklifts each day. First and foremost, wear your seat belts at all times, even if you're just getting on for a few seconds. Riding or carrying a person anywhere on a forklift that does not have space for a rider is incredibly dangerous. And this includes riders on the forks or on top of a load. Lifting a friend on a stack of loaded pallets can literally become a death-defying stunt and it's not worth risking your life over. The only time it is safe and acceptable to elevate someone on your forklift is if your forklift is rated for that type of lifting, like a vehicle equipped with a lift basket properly attached to the mast, with the person riding in the lift basket wearing all the proper safety gear for fall protection. If you have any questions about safe lifting and procedures for a forklift equipped with a lift basket, well, just ask a supervisor. Keep your hands on the controls at all times, and this also means no multitasking, like carrying something in your hand or eating and drinking while operating a forklift. There are also some specific tips to remember for safety when pedestrians are present. Make eye contact with all pedestrians before maneuvering around or past them. Always give them the right of way to go first, and you won't ever have to worry about any surprises. If provided, Check the round mirrors that are often found at corners and near exits for better visibility. This way you can see what is around the corner before you get there. When backing up around any corners and when near pedestrians, slow down and sound the horn. This alerts everyone around you that you are coming and gives them time to move out of the way or take a safe route around you. It is essential to stay alert to follow all safety procedures before arriving to work. No matter your level of experience as a forklift operator, staying safe should always be your greatest concern.